Minecraft blaze rods are not the most enjoyable item to obtain. Though they aren't exactly rare, they do come with a full face of fire. They are the sole item you need to access the end. In this video, I'll teach you a quick Minecraft Bedrock 1.21 blaze farm, and it'll also work for Minecraft Java. Before we begin, these are the materials you will need. With all that out of the way, let's go over some important information. In Minecraft, blazes will indeed die to powdered snow. However, this method will not enable them to drop blaze rods. Using trident killers does indeed work, but in terms of efficiency, it's quite suboptimal. You'd be relying on Minecraft AI pathing, so I'm pretty sure you don't want to put your money on that. Given their nature, you can't use lava or fire to kill them, but fun fact, if you have a tame wolf, the wolf can actually trigger blaze rods to drop. That is if the wolf doesn't die in the process. Flash potions, cactus, TNT, not gonna work. Blazes will not fly in cobwebs, but then again, cobwebs are cobwebs. And lastly, given the fact that a blaze can fly, it doesn't take fall damage. Consider it a chicken. But in this tutorial, we'll be using a simple lava push method, as seen in many other tutorials. Credit where credit's due. Let's get started. All right, everybody. So the first thing you want to do is obviously find yourself a blaze spawner. When you come into the blaze spawner room, go ahead and take torches and just kind of go all the way around like this. I did not put these in the material list because you could also just put like blocks around it. So, and then I would just also block this off. That way you don't, you know, get attacked by other mobs. And then you could put like a torch right there and then that will stop wither skeletons or anything from spawning inside of here walking in front of the spawner so if we're walking this way just to show you you're going to want to make sure there's three blocks to the left and three blocks to the right only on the left and right okay so if we're facing this way let's just say we walk into this room on the left and right we want it three blocks out so i'm going to break that block and then i'm going to break that block as you can see that's one two and three and this side one two and three you could just break the sides as well break all of these so just to show you one two and three do it on this side as well one two three and then just fill all that in all right so now everything looks like this over here you only want it to be two blocks out so as you can see we have one two and then on that third one place the block and then start building your walls just like this then same thing behind it so just to show you on the left side three in front of it technically one two and then behind it right here one two as well okay and then you could break these and then just connect the walls around so just do that and then break that and then we could just break these as well and connect everything so now if we're standing directly in front of the spawner we have three blocks to the left and right two blocks in front of it and two blocks behind it directly above the spawner you should be able to place two blocks just like this one two i believe all blaze spawner rooms will automatically you know have it like this but for example let's say yours is higher or lower just make sure you fill it in so it's only two blocks high so in this case i don't have to do anything up here so i'm going to break those and then on top of this spawner go ahead and place a stone slab this just stops the blazes from spawning like directly on top of the spawner you can break all these fences that are probably going to be near your spawner as well um just it looks better if you just have this all filled in that way there's just nothing peeking through all right so now we have all that filled in and we can get that just like so okay so hopefully this is making sense it's super simple two blocks up and then two over here two behind it three to the left three to the right now we want to break the entire floor so from this corner to that corner we want to break the floor so we're going to break it all like this and we want to break the floor down to three blocks so just to show you we want to make it three blocks deep so just like this we'll break that level as well and then that's two blocks so we just want to go one more to make it three blocks deep and then just like that three blocks deep but you might have to fill like this part in and then yeah that is how everything should look we can then go ahead and break all of that and you could also fill this in as well and you could just fill all of this in so now everything looks just like this my advice to you if you want to make a entry point into this area you're not going to ever need to come in here but if you want to right over here you can just break these two blocks like so and then place like a different kind of block you know like iron blocks gold blocks some sort of block pattern that is like a marker to signal like a door then you can just place it like this it just lets you know that that's how you get in and then you can just mine it and then get in that way but for now we don't have to deal with that so i'm gonna fill this up if you want to go ahead and polish around you can as well for me since it's the tutorial it doesn't really matter how it looks it's kind of ugly but it's whatever it works directly below the spawner right here for three blocks you're gonna want to break three on the side so the easiest way to do that is to go three down and then to the left to break that block and just to show you we're in front of it so when i say in front i'm referencing the three on the sides okay and then break that one and then just like that we'll have three blocks broken this is how it should look just to show you so once you have the three in the middle everything on the sides will be two so one two one two one two and one two and if you're curious from the corners also will be two now what we can do is go ahead and grab our signs it doesn't matter what kind of signs you have place three just like this 
you got three and you could do it on this side as well it doesn't matter and then directly above them just to show you i'm shifting right on top of the sign place a sign just like that so all you're gonna do is shift and then right click directly on top of that hitbox right there and then right there okay so now you have three and then you have three down there go ahead and break any block just to get down there it doesn't matter so i'm gonna break this block and then you want to break these three down here so one two and three just be careful not to break your signs and then once you do that you can just go ahead and fill that in now you'll be standing in here all you want to do is break another three so one two three and then that will be a total of one two three blocks high we want to bring it down to four so just like this we have one, two, three, four. You wanna break two blocks in front of you or behind you, it doesn't matter. Just don't do it on the sides right here. As you can see, you wanna do it on one of these walls. So we'll pick this side since everything is just gonna be in one side, makes it easier. You'll break these three and then the three below it. And like I said, you could do it over there as well. Doesn't matter. And then you could break these three as well. And then those three, and we already broke that one. And then above right here, go ahead and break these three. So if we're standing here and we go in here, just break these three. So one, two, and three. This should be a three by three area just to show you. And we can make it a four by three, just like this. So now it's one, two, three, four, and then three to the sides. And then break the roof as well in here. And then go ahead and leave this one. You don't have to break that one. Now, all you have to do is put three blocks here. So one, two, three, and then just take three slabs and place them right here. So one, two, and three. All right. And then in here, it doesn't really matter what you do. You can expand this all you want. You can expand it over here. You can expand it over there probably connect this realistically like somewhere outside that way you can get in and out easily but up to you our main focus point is over here you do over here not my concern you want to place a chest right here in the middle um you could put it on the left you could put it on the right or you could just do a double chest up to you we'll place a single chest right there and then go ahead and break this block and this block to the left of that chest and then break these three and then break that one and that will allow you to get in and just like this what we want to do is go over here place a hopper that goes this way into that chest and we're going to jump and place a hopper going into this hopper so just like that and the double check it works drop a block in there goes to the chest and then we're going to do the same thing on this side but we'll back out so we don't get stuck in there a hopper going into that hopper just like that very simple all the hoppers going right into the chest place the block under there and then fill that back in and then just place a block here and a block there all right and now we want to go back to the top the easiest way to do that is like i said just mine your way out i have an entry point over here or yours is probably going to be directly above so you could just break that block break those two blocks and then and you could ladder yourself up there if you wanted to. You don't have to, but if you wanted to place ladders just like that, you could go right back up to the top and there you are. Remember those marker blocks I told you to place just so you know how to get in? Those were those right there. All right, the next thing you want to do is make a staircase going down or, you know, just like a place you can stand on. So I'm gonna place a block right here. Go ahead and grab lava. You need four lava buckets as per the material list. And you're gonna place a lava bucket in that corner, a lava bucket in that corner, that corner, and watch out for that fire. And then one in this corner right here. And then what you can do is just literally break that block and it, it'll get burned. All right, so we can go ahead and fill this in. You can use solid blocks or a tinted glass. So however you wanna style this completely up to you, you can also break this now that way you can get in and out and then this will be basically your viewing room i know a lot of you out there are going to have like really cool designs for this so if you want to join the discord and share like whatever designs you come up with feel free to i'd love to check them out but now all we have to do is just come down here and when we're down here we just want to make sure we're in hard mode i was in peaceful mode for the sake of this tutorial blazes will spawn right in here and i almost forgot guys actually i'm sorry i know i'm going off i'm breaking the fourth wall we want to make sure that these are broken as well so not a big problem you could just break one of the parts and then you'll be able to get in here and break those the blazes will then like sink down into here and i find it's actually easier if you break these two blocks right here and then those two blocks and then you can get right below and you can just start swinging and as soon as you swing blaze rods will go into the chest if you want more loot all you have to do is enchant your sword to looting three two or one i would recommend is you see how we have one spawner here well sometimes you'll get two right next to each other so we have oh, we have one right here right so now we could have double the raids on top of looting yeah i would fully recommend that you expand it with a second system so just look for a fortress that has a blaze spawner there and a blaze spawner there but yeah guys that's basically it for this video it's very simple if you guys like this tutorial please make sure to leave a like and subscribe comment down anything in the the comment section you know i'll reply join the discord server to become a part of an everlasting many community today and as always bye bye i don't listen to the haters man i treat them like the enemy had a couple traders man but now they know the penalty I